Good morning from the garage. It's a little different today, Saturday morning. I'm not showered or anything. I just was woken from my slumber because, in a good way, because we've been waiting for another thing for our house, this cube freezer thing for the garage, and it arrived. Um, we knew it was coming to, I just didn't expect it to come so early. So the guy was, the FedEx driver was super nice. Our garage here is just a completely unorganized pile. Since we just moved in, it was just kind of threw stuff over. Um, of course, it's also like 40 degrees in the coldest day it's been in a long time, but we'll get this sorted just a little bit. I'm not gonna fix the whole thing, but I just need to make a space to put this freezer in. Ultimately, this is a, a job for later, uh, once it gets warmer, but this will work for now. I'll say, good job, Frigidaire. They put this really hard, almost like press board in and uh, it looks like it did take an impact. So, there for a reason. Yep, same corner, looks good. Not too bad, I made it a little easy. Looks, looks like it's in good shape. All right, so I'll get this wrapping off and then we can move it. There she is. I like this, it says garage ready. I guess I know what everyone's doing with this. Controls are down there, so we'll get it plugged in in a second. So this is seven cubic feet. So it looks looks good. My brother has the same one. I was just reading the kind of the quick start instructions that it came with, and it just uh, it doesn't really say anything other than plugging it in and letting it cool down. You want to give a few inches off the back for circulation, but I think this is plenty. So we'll get it plugged in. As I'm getting the cord, I've noticed. <clears throat> the back is solid except there's a vent right there. So that's really the only spot that needs Ventilation, so I'm gonna try to find something maybe a small piece of wood or something I could put right here So it doesn't get pressed all against the wall over time I'm gonna have to add something better to my list, but this is from the packing materials So I'm wondering if I just leave it like this right here not where the vent itself is But that could keep it from uh, pushing all the way back So that vent is always exposed. Let's just let's test it out. Let's see here yeah there actually yeah but it's a little too far to the side so i gotta move it over also there's like this orange like insulation stuff and i'm not really sure if we're supposed to leave that or if eventually i should cut this out it's unsightly i think they it's just part of the construction process maybe didn't fully clean it up but if you can see there it is. So it's just press, pressing the bottom and like one of the flat sections. So now we're maintaining a couple inches. It's nowhere near the vent itself. And then actually, I'm an idiot. If we come over here, there's a huge vent on this side. So I think this is probably the more important one, the one that has the fire warning and everything. So this is the one that counts. I can hear it running. We got power, run, put it to like a five. We want it extra cold. I'm gonna put um, maybe some of those ice blocks in here just to see what happens and see if it's cold or not, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll let it run for a while. There you have it. The job successfully done. Ignore all this. Uh, that's, <laughs> like I said, we just moved in. It's been cold, but this seems to be working. It's on. Oh, it's hard. I just put that frozen thing in there just to make sure it stays cold. So we'll give it a few hours and come back and check it. And lastly, as I mentioned yesterday, swap the cars around so i'm on this side i didn't realize both our cars are small but mine is actually quite a bit wider than hers so um took this side it's harder to park this is easier for her there's a ton i mean there's absolute ton of room now on both sides these day in a goose life daily vlog videos often devolve into ramblings about car repair or uh super ob obscure subjects but the focus of the channel and what I've been trying to do and what Harvey and I are trying to do is to show that if we're motivated and work hard as being good fathers, good husbands, we could motivate others to do the same. So we're taking care of our health and our house. So I want to give you a tip. It's a tip that's been given to me many times as a father by people who were fathers before I was. They always say the same thing. They always say, don't 
take for granted the time you have to rest because it's going to go away. This is true. I was abruptly taken out of bed. And I'm going to take the tip one step further. Do not underestimate and underappreciate the ability to take a shower whenever you want. I feel disgusting. I was in the garage cleaning and putting a freezer up together and um, one thing led to another and now I'm down in the basement putting together the old couch. I guess it's good that I haven't showered yet because I'm sweating profusely. I just carried all this stuff downstairs. Um, so not easy. And I'm just feeling exceptionally disgusting. <laughs> so my tip is, yes, appreciate the rest you can get while you can, especially if it's your first kid and your wife is pregnant, sleep the whole time. I did. I slept a lot during that time and I'm glad I did because I don't sleep anymore. And yeah, take a shower, maybe twice a day because you can, simply because you can. Anyways, rambling and tips aside, here it is. It's not too hard. I think there's one more piece upstairs still, but I've been dealing with this as my office because I don't have anywhere to put stuff and I wasn't able to like commit to how I want to set up the room until this was here. And I couldn't put this here until the new one was upstairs. The new one's upstairs. We used it last night. We used it today. Well, I haven't used it today, but uh, it's available today. And so this is the old one. And yes, I've said it many times, we're complete psychopaths. This is the exact same couch. Had it for 10 years, loved it so much. It fit perfectly here, it fits perfectly upstairs. We said, we'll just get another one. So we have two of these now. So I'm gonna put this together. I was kind of contemplating putting a lamp in the corner, but then this comes off the wall and there's just this odd gap. So I think I'm just gonna put it straight in the corner. And then that opens up a lot of space on this side. So what I'll do on this side is I'll put like a little table next to it. Maybe I'll put a lamp here. We could even possibly do something like that. So we'll explore with some options. But yeah, I'm going to put it together here. Now, I've said this couch has been amazing. I bought it almost 10 years ago, something like that. I, I really, I'm not sure exactly when, but it's an Ikea couch. And I've moved, in 10 years, I've moved 10 times. I'll say that, probably more. And I've taken this with me everywhere I've gone. So this is been assembled and disassembled at least 10 times. It's kind of loose. There's parts of it, especially in the corners, where some of the screws and some of the holes, they're loose. Um, some of the, the pieces just aren't as strong as they once were and they're kind of warped and stuff like that. So the one upstairs is like, feels rock solid. This one kind of had like a little wobble to it. Now what I've been wanting to do, and I haven't done because I knew I'd be taking it apart and moving it so many times, is I'm just gonna add a bunch of screws <laughs> throughout and I'm gonna make my own holes. And it's gonna be a way where this is probably going to be its final resting place. That's the intention. I think we could get another few years out of it easily um, if we don't move it. So I don't see any reason why it's gonna go anywhere else but here. Maybe we slide it a few inches, but it's not leaving. So this time I'm gonna to put together per instructions, but as I go, so for example, here, there's two screws that go in that hold this piece right here. But as I go, I'm gonna add two more and I'm gonna do that on the side and I'm gonna do that on the back. And these screws are gonna be more permanent, some wood screws that won't really be meant to take to be taken in and out. But if I do that throughout the process, it's gonna be locked in. It's gonna be very, very strong, very sturdy. It'll last all my, Formula One race watching, as well as uh, our son growing up and jumping on it and our dog and everything like that. So its final resting place will be here, but let's see if we can get, hey, five more years at least out of it. So let's get started. So we've got it together the way it's supposed to go. And I recall I am one short, so I left this one short. I didn't put this one in because it's already attached here and here. So that's the least important. But now, like I said, this is where we're gonna get a little little bootleg, but we'll put a few throughout the back. I think it'll be just what we need. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This thing's gonna be stronger than it's ever been. <laughs> I'm actually gonna put a few more on this side too, so. This thing is going to be like locked together. There you have it. 
This thing hasn't been this solid in years. It's so funny. When I sit on it, I squish right down, which is how it's always how it's been for a long time. But the new one, you sit down and you're like right on top because it's, it's like so much more firm. This is all smashed, but not bad. So I need to get the pillows, the piece that goes under here. But yeah, did pretty good. Those extra screws definitely made a difference. It feels like the new one, rock solid. This is moving, but the, the wood is not. Yeah, very, very good. So should last us a long time. People who talk shit about Ikea furniture, I've, I've had this theory for a long time because most of our house is Ikea. Pretty much everywhere I lived has been like a lot of Ikea stuff. And people say Ikea stuff is low quality or doesn't last. It's because they put it together wrong. This put together right. You don't know how many times we moved this thing and took it apart. Still good. I had to put a few extra screws for a long term. But I mean, it's great. So... Sweet. Watch TV just like this. Mission complete. There it is. Cushions, pull out piece. Because I made it so tight, this is actually working so much better than it was before because it was loose. So when we have guests, we have this one and the one upstairs. So we have two beds like this. Perfect. Believe it or not, I'm in the car right now. That's how much cardboard there is. I told you there'd be a lot. So I'm gonna head over to the recycling center, get this all out of the house and check another thing off the list it's a the progress is very notable at this point with the house once we get all this out which i'm doing right now we've got pretty much all the furniture taken care of i think we need like a tv stand and maybe like a little shelf for like the entryway small stuff small details that we can live without so house is becoming a home oh boy it's falling right out I'm really glad we have this uh, compactor here because where the heck was I going to put this in it, you know, if we didn't? The car's just completely full. Oh, it's going to fit. Stuck on something. Oh, here we go. These big pieces. Oh, there we go. Besides the fact that we've moved so many times, we've traveled so much, this car has also been used for work a lot, and I used to drive around and deliver things. I always wonder if there's a way to do it. There's obviously no way to do it, but there was. If I took every single thing that's ever been in this car and just like made a pile of everything this car has transported, uh, the, the pile would be up to the trees. Great car. Cheap, reliable, beautiful. Well, not beautiful, but <laughs> nice enough. Finally got a shower, nice and clean, and then fed my son. My wife's friend is over, and they were playing some card game. We're going to go, I guess there's just like this hobby, like collectible shop in the area they wanted to go to. So we're going to go there, see what they have to offer, take our son, and then we're going to get some dinner. I think we're going to go to Red Robin. And uh, they both like, it's like their favorite place to go together. So I'll get something to eat, maybe look at some collectibles or whatever, toys or whatever in this shop. And then um, later when we get back, I think we're going to play some board games or something. But once we kind of settle in, I'm going to go down back downstairs and try to clean that room up. Because now that the couch is there, I can really start setting things up. So I haven't had a chance to really do that yet. place is pretty cool what do you think buddy what do you think got all kinds of toys maybe when he's older we'll get into this i always wanted to get into like the really fancy rc cars build your own and stuff when i was younger we were obsessed with these kind of cars some models. They're expensive now, $135. That's where you see them for like 20 bucks. It's a cool store. 
These are awesome. Little bookshelf hold, like displays. This actually doesn't turn, it's just a mirror. That's so cool. He's completely passed out and we're walking to, we're going to Target, which is just across the parking lot from the hobby store. So, so it's my wife and her friend. We'll take the car and we'll walk. It's a nice day. Like I said, he's completely out. I've got to say, it's pretty nice being down here, just sitting on my very old couch, but in my new room. I think I'm going to be I think I'm gonna be really happy with this. And like I said, still feels very sturdy. I did a good job. I, uh, <laughs> so if you watch, must've been one of my first uh, goose, day in the goose life videos. I was fixing our refrigerator. We moved into this house. There's no refrigerator, so we had to get one. All the pipes in this house are like plastic, PEX piping. It has this weird like, kind of plasticky taste at first. So you have to like wash it out. So we've been having like on and off issues with tasting it in the refrigerator. And I drained, I did this whole thing where I drained the, the pipes and stuff like that. But I just like took a hose and ran it from like the outlet all the way to the sink and just like let it run for a while. We started getting the plastic taste again. And so I was like, man, that sucks. So I did it again today. So I pulled the refrigerator out, ran the hose to the sink, and kind of like four or five times throughout the day, I'd like turn on for like 15 minutes, turn off, turn on, turn off, and try to like get that taste up. I was, I did it. The taste went away, but because sometimes it sits longer, like overnight and stuff, I was worried it would come back. So I, I just had this feeling something wasn't right. So I started looking at the refrigerator, and I realized that I took the filter out, like the water filter, and I realized that there was no water coming out of it. So I was like, wait a second, is the filter not working? I was doing everything, looking at everything, going online and all this stuff. And uh, I took like the door, like the cover of the door off the refrigerator and there's a like a water reservoir and it was completely bone dry. And I'm like, oh, this is not good. So the water is not flowing through the filter. Something's not working. I was looking at the wires, troubleshooting, everything you could think of. And I said, um, and I finally went to one like YouTube video and the guy's like, yeah, you have to turn the filter like really hard. And I was like, hmm. So I go to the filter and you like screw it on and I screwed it on and I was like hand tightening it. But of course I don't want to break something. So I was like, thought I put it on right. So I just went to it and I like turned it really hard and it like turned like half a turn more and the water started pouring in. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> We've been here for like well, two months. We've had this refrigerator and we haven't been using the water. It tastes funny and stuff like that and all these things. And I'm like, it's not even going. I don't know if the filter is going to solve all the problems with the plastic taste. But I was like, it hasn't even been going through the filter. What an idiot. So since then, the water has been tasting fantastic for the last like two hours. So that was um, a little bit embarrassing, if I'm honest. But we've gotten so many things done that um, over the last like three or four days that it's un unreal. So new couches upstairs, old couches downstairs. That's a huge, huge thing. Got the freezer for the garage. That's a big one. That's done. Refriger refrigerator, possibly not tasting like plastic anymore. Um, that's a big one. We'll wait and see on that. Uh, what else? There's so many things. Oh, the shelves for my wife's office. Installed all those. So that's done. And today we were, we earlier in the video, saw we stopped at Target for a minute. We've been looking for patio furniture. And I swear there's a conspiracy. Patio furniture costs twice as much as like pretty much like a, a couch for your patio. That's just like metal with like a like mesh or kind of like, what do you call it? Like a, like not straw, but you know what I mean? I can't think of the word, but like. Cheap looking stuff is like twice the price as the actual couch for inside the house. Chairs are like three hundred dollars. I just don't understand. So unless you get like plastic, flimsy plastic stuff, and so I was like, so we've been like 
trying to figure out what to do. And Target Circle, they have like their yearly sales. They had this really nice outdoor table. Not like top, top of the line fancy, but totally great. And it was uh, on sale plus a discount plus this coupon plus this. We ended up getting it for like $135 or something for the whole table. It was like unreal. We thought we were going to pay like a thousand bucks. So we paid like th less than $200, like less than $150 for it, which was just like super, super deal. So um, it was one of those things where I was like, was this the table we were looking for? And we're both like, it doesn't matter for this price. It's good enough. Let's get it right now. Let's not let this pass. So it wasn't, it wasn't in stock in that target. So we went online while we were standing there and it was in stock in one that's like 20 minutes away. So I, I like bought it curbside pickup or whatever from the app. And so I'll pick it up tomorrow morning. So that'll be part of the video tomorrow. And, um, yeah, I mean, just so many things coming together. I, I couldn't be happier. Uh, as far as the, this room and the mess that I've shown like 20 times this, um, that I keep saying it's going to get done today. Or I'm going to do it. We ended up going to dinner. It was fun. Her friend came over. We hung out. Um, I was messing with the refrig refrigerator for like another hour before I figured out that I just hadn't screwed the filter all the way on. <laughs> and uh, it's uh, 11.45 p.m. right now. And I have to clean some bottles. So, I, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be doing anything down here today. But tomorrow... <laughs> Tomorrow we'll get it done. Um, okay, well, on the docket for tomorrow, uh, I'm going to wake up early. We moved to a new area. Don't have a church that we visit. So um, I've gone to one so far and wasn't really feeling it. So I'm going to go to a new one tomorrow and do some kind of in that phase of like trying to find where we want to go. So trying a new one tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Going to pick up the that extremely great deal for an outside table after that. And then for real... Well, I say for real, but very, very, very likely after that, I will be working on this room. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night.